hello everyone so in last video we have seen from the theory perspective about the im so in this video we are going to see how actually we can do a practical how actually we can create a user group role and policy okay so what i will do i will open my aws console okay once you will open your aws console this will look like this so what you have to search you have to search for the im okay i will select im click on the im okay okay uh, once you will click on the im you can see you will get to see this particular dashboard okay now in the left side if you will see we have a user group user role policy and all right now what actually we have to do we have to click on the user what we are going to do we are going to create a new user okay left side you can see you have a user group user roles policy right so what we will do we will try to create a new user so for creating a new user what we have to do we have to click on the add user okay suppose any data analyst joined okay okay now uh, this uh, data analyst uh, we are going to create this is the new user okay click on the next okay now it is asking like whether you want to add this user into any group or you want to give any kind of the permission or you want to attach a policy okay so first let us see the attach policy okay well, so what is the access you want to give so this is the by default policy which is defined by the amazon itself okay now here we have a different kind of the policy like uh, whether you want to give a administrator access whether you want to give a uh, if you search for the s3 right whether you want to give the s3 full access s3 read only access s3 output full access okay similarly for the i am if you will see we want to give the i am full access and all okay now what we have to do what we are giving because this is the data analysis right so we are we only want to give them s3 full access okay uh, for example okay now what we will do we will click on the next okay now this is the username data analyst okay uh, as of now if you will see uh, the console password and the required password reset this we haven't set up anything but we'll see how actually we can do that also okay and we have given them access like uh, amazon s3 full access now what we'll do we'll click on the create user okay so this is the data analyst new user which got created what i will do i will click on this data analyst okay now uh, go to the security credential okay you can see here right like, in a security credential you can see you have a one console sign in link okay so this is the link which you have to provide to your user he can log in okay now after that what we will do we will try to create a enable console access so what will be the user and password okay so what we will do we will try to click on the enable it okay and what we will do we will try to create one uh, either you can give the auto generated password or the custom password so as of now what i am doing i am giving only the custom password okay so okay and uh, after that it is asking whether you user must create a new password at sign in so if you will click user, user has to create a new password but i am not selecting this okay so after that i will click on the apply okay now we are getting one console sign in username and the password through which actually user can able to log in okay so what i will do i will try to create a new incognito window okay and i will just copy this link i'll just try to paste this okay and what is my username so username is uh, data analyst okay and the password that we have set up okay now if i'll do a sign in now you can see you are successfully able to log in okay now if you will search for the any other services we have given only the s3 access right if we'll go to the ec2 okay you will see kind of the error because you don't have access okay that's why it is coming like a api error and all now if i will go to the uh, s3 access we have checked right now if i will search for the s3 because s3 only we are given okay uh, now s3 he can see he can create a bucket he can load because we have given uh, we have given the full load access okay so that is how actually we can create a user i hope you got it